So Craig, plasma technology here at Kerf. Talk to me about what you can do. Uh, we can cut with plasma from one millimetre thick aluminium or mild steel right the way through to 60, 70 millimetres. You've touched on two different materials there. So the material grade is irrelevant with this type of process. People using plasma will use it for aluminium, uh, stainless steel and mild steel. And why would you opt for plasma as opposed to oxyfuel cutting? What would be the reason? Uh, speed, uh, accuracy, uh, and on the, on the thinner materials, say from 20 to 30 mil, high def plasma gives you a much better finish. High def plasma, good point. So this machine isn't just a plasma machine, you've taken the next step. Um, we've taken the next step and the next one beyond that. It's high definition plasma, uh, but this one's got ultra sharp. Okay, and ultra sharp means? Uh, ultra sharp gives you a really good quality hole in the, in the part but it equally it gives you a very good edge finish. And is this technology that is mainly, you don't have a lot of competition in this area, would you say that Kerf, you know, stands out from the crowd when you're looking for that, um, that quality? When we do cut, cut trials in a competitive environment, we, we, we do get praise for the cut quality we can get from the machine. Okay, now let's talk about the head here. You've only got one head on this machine. Yes. Is that all you would always have, or would you ever go for multiple heads? You can have uh, multiple heads. I would strongly re recommend that you didn't. Right. Why is that? Um, consumable use will, will be a lot higher. It's very difficult to get the process to arc at the exact point in time. OK, so you would be mainly looking at here at doing one part at a time with one head. Yes. OK, and the cross rail here, this is an, an RUR 2000. Yes. But you can have bigger machines than this that that in terms of the width? Yeah, this is the entry level machine. Typically it would be a three meter cut length by 1.5 meter width. Right. Uh, you can go on this particular model up to three and a half meters wide, rail centers. Yeah. And you can go as long as you like. Right, okay. And then the table here, again, this can be built to whatever width to suit the cross rail size. Yeah, I mean, one attraction with the design of the machine is, is that when you buy that, it might be your first plasma machine if you want to go longer so for example you might want to go to six meter long it means that you can be loaded at the front while you're cutting at the back and vice versa okay so these are modular in a sense you could you could have two that were three meters long butted up against each other or you could add a, a second one absolutely to three meters. i mean we, we've got installations in northern ireland where the machines we've got one that's 24 meters long right with two heads on and the rail is independent to the table. So if you were to drop a component onto this table, you wouldn't get any vibration seen throughout the rest of the, call it the structure. Absolutely. If, if the plates drop by the stacker truck driver straight onto the machine, then there are no loads or, or, or vibrations through the, through the frame. So let's have a look at the components then, Craig. Uh, the big thing that's changed recently has been the ability to cut small holes. And we're down now to one to one. So in 5 mil material, we can cut a 5 mil hole. But where historically before, you would have said probably 7 or 8 mil would be the smallest. Right, OK. And this is as a result of your technology? Yeah, we, we've developed along with the plasma manufacturer and the software manufacturer, uh, lead-in and lead-out strategies. And we just slow the machine down for certain holes. And that's all done automatically. OK, so for small diameter holes, this is ideal? Absolutely. Yeah. OK, and then we've got another component here or another part here. Yeah, the attraction with this one, again, this is a piece of 20 mil. Um, nothing special about the material, it's just low grade mild steel. Um, and what Ultra Sharp gives is, is a right angle, a really good cut. It's neat. Whereas historically you would have had a quite a camber. Even on some plasma systems, you might get up to seven or eight degrees of, of taper. On this, we get a, a true right angle cut. And that is an, a nice cut as well in terms of what's left on the finish. It's not bad. It's not but bad. But that's as it comes off the machine. That's had no, no work done afterwards. Right. Just lightly take off the dross. Yeah. So this, for Kerf, in terms of popularity of the machines that you sell, where does the, uh, the plasma stand? Is it one of your most, your biggest sellers? It, uh, high def plasma is our biggest seller, yeah. Right. Uh, and the people that are looking at this are people that have got traditional plasma, older style plasmas, and people that have got laser cutting machines. Okay, and an example of a manufacturer, someone who's doing lots of different components or lots of different parts? It, it can be anything. Uh, uh, we've got people that have got laser machines alongside plasma and alongside water jet, and depending on the type of work, they would then put that on the high-def plasma. 
Okay, and in terms of price, again, like your other machines, depends on the size of the machine that you go for. Yes, right. Um, you can start with this uh, a turnkey package at around about 50k, going right the way through to 140, 150k for a really big machine. Brilliant. And the control on this machine, easy to use? Absolutely bulletproof. One thing that we like to use on all the machines is the standard controller. Um, it's reliable, we can get support and service for it anywhere around the world. Brilliant. Craig, fantastic insight into the world of more than high definition plasma. Thank you.